second shot of this video. So this is Costco. And Costco, um, for scale-wise, let me show you my hand in here and then pull it away. Um, you can see that they're, they're, they're pretty small. They're not, they're not huge, but for scale. But um, there are tons of them, and they're tight as can be. They're very tight, very tight. And a lot of people call this alligatoring. I like to call them spider cracks. Um, and as you turn, I'll turn the light, I got the light on. And you can see the pores in the concrete. And um, they, they have their own, they, so here would be the beginning of, of, of a spider cracks. Let's see if I can get this a little closer for you guys. The beginning makings of it. All right, so I've got to go on an angle here. And it may look like a flat floor, but visually you can see the making, I can see a puzzle getting ready to happen right here. And Costco uses their own um, buffing machine. Uh, they use a 12 mach uh, dining, dining machine, 12, I think it's 12, the guy informed me. Um, and they hit their floor frequently themselves. They don't use any densifier, as from what I was informed. Um, they get on here and start polishing. So what, what causes all this stuff, right? What causes all this, the, the, there we go. So this is very tight, but it's gonna keep wanting to happen. And it's just gonna ultimately come out to be that. Just a huge amount of uh, spider cracks or alligatoring, whatever whatever you like to refer to it as. Um, so this is the surface. It's very tight. And here I would say it does have, a, it's starting to open up a little bit there. Or, or should I say not open up, it's uh, starting to lose pieces or parts. And I'll tell you why, my opinion based on their machining, machining of the floor. Um, here we go. Mm -hmm. 